The next tip, tip number two, is about entering the valid data items. I'm going back to the field tab and this is the last step we'll do before we actually go to creating the data sheet. On the field tab we'll go to each of the columns that have a heading name and we've identified that the data type is a valid data item. We need now to key in the specific list of valid data choices that need to be available for you to choose from when you're entering data into later in the program. Now I've entered some here, Art Healing Program, Digital Stories, Healing Workshop, Youth Camp. I think I'll add Other as a last category and you could uh, just keep listing them down the page until you get the complete list. Another valid data field is gender and obviously male is one and female is another. Another valid data source, referral source. There will be a, a list of items here. Uh, it could be FARS, FCS, um, uh, Bert Williams, As two examples, I'll key in a third one, drug and alcohol service. So I'm just building up this list, uh, the next valid data item, attendance, week session one, well the answer here is a yes or a no, as it, it will be for the next one, a valid data, could be a yes or a no. Once this is completed and you've saved the file, we're going to be using these as the choices in the little drop-down menus that will appear on your data sheet. Now, in the case of the referral service, I'll put in an other because if you choose that, you then have the ability to key in free text next to a choice of other. If you are entering the data and it's not one of those sources and you write other, then you're able to key into the cell next to it the free text relating to it. And it doesn't corrupt the data collection of the referral source field. In the next video, we'll go to the data sheet and I'll explain how we set up the valid data field big blue eyes and that big question comes to mind